Surrounded by parts of sniggering publicity, walkouts at its first Sundance screening and the possible smell of stunt casting, Swiss Army Man, the poignant, meaningful, stunning and intelligent treatise on life, love, loneliness, and yes, letting one rip, could be lost in the fug. And that would just blow. Dan Kwan and Daniel Snert's magical realist black comedy plays like Samuel Beckett directed by Michelle Gondry with a screenplay by Dave Eggers. Or Terence Malick meets the Farrelly brothers, as star of the show Daniel Radcliffe himself prefers. Paul Dono plays Hank, shipwrecked and alone on an island. Sending out heartbreaking notes scrawled on yogurt pots and empty plastic bottles, begging to be rescued, praying not to die alone. Wrapped with despair, Hank prepares to hang himself. But then he spots something on the shoreline, another human. It's Radcliffe, and he's clearly dead. Utterly bereft, Hank slips his head back in the noose. Until a moment of pure Bacchian tragicomedy where the corpse emits a massive toot. Slipping between euphoric fantasy and surreal comedy, told via astounding visuals, the image of Donna riding Radcliffe like a jet ski through the ocean whooping as if he was rodeo cowboy, pulling down the corpse's pants for extra fart power is only a tiny taste, Swiss Army Man manages to be one of the most inventive and sensitive films of the year. Certainly, as a feature debut, it's astonishing, bold, original, and like nothing else you'll see. And Radcliffe is brilliant. Often struggling to shake off Harry Potter's robes, Radcliffe has always made brave choices, but not all of them sit quite right. He didn't look old enough for the woman in Black Widower. He wasn't quite troubled enough for Hornzig. But as the corpse, who Hank names Manny, he's just perfect.